Hey guys, if you are just watching this, this is the launch date for BBS. We have partnered with BBS to give away a set of BBS wheels. This is absolutely awesome. We are so stoked to do this partnership with them. It's going to be incredible. We have a new t-shirt design. It's got the old classic boy on the front and we got the iconic BMW on the back. And we're doing a donation. So every time you pick up a shirt, we're doing a donation to United Way. That's going to be our charity of choice for the month of September. We are so stoked to be able to do this with BBS. We hope you guys are too. So if you're interested in picking up a t-shirt, or if you want to be lame and send in a postcard, the description link below is going to tell you all about it. You can pick up a t-shirt with the link. And of course, guys, don't forget, enjoy the video, have fun. We hope you take part in this month's giveaway. Good luck. It's the future. It's the thing. The thing that all the cool kids, not me, that are doing. But it's like the stuff. And it is just the best. You can even argue that it systematically makes absolutely everything look thin, look better. Minivans, not a problem, right? Mini Coopers looks like a trendy toaster now. Big old German cars that look like a wet piece of cardboard, not anymore, bud, because it's slammed on the ground and looks classy. I'm Alex, Alex at FI on the IG, and today we're gonna be talking about so you wanting to bag your car. Bags are for groceries. That's too easy, bro. You need to struggle to get the fitment that you want. You ain't really about that low life if you're on air. I don't know if I'm supposed to be like a skateboarder from the 70s or what sort of voice I was trying to sound like. Either way, not really any good. Bagging your car and for the sake of sounding somewhat like an adult, installing air suspension has been an extremely common topic in the interwebs these days. Everything from minivans to all off meta car builds have been introduced to air suspension and it usually always results in people absolutely just loving it like a like a warm Cinnabon on a Saturday morning with your coffee. Like installing air suspension for your car has been a thing for a while, originating all the way back to the 1950s, which we talked about in a previous history episode. Airlift suspension was installing air suspension cups all the way back in the day by patenting a rubber air spring that was inserted into the car's factory coil spring. The air spring would then expand and essentially prevent the OEM spring from ever compressing completely. And while there were others out there before airlift, there were ones that really kind of coined the technology and push it into the automotive scene. Air suspension setups would then be used to prevent squatting during circle track racing, drag racing, and everything in between. It worked so well that Airlift even used it to sell at the drag strip and install it for people as long as they put a nice little itsy bitsy logo over there in the back fender of their car so that they could get pictures back in the day. Cause they knew marketing. Over time, air suspension would leak into all facets of the automotive community. City buses would have the Trailers, hell yeah, bud. They could have the psh too. Semis, guess what they could do? Psh. Building foundation supports the works. Yep, they could also, well, not really do psh, but they could, like they did the thing. I would imagine seeing like a skyscraper lowering out, it'd probably be the tightest thing ever. The technology was pretty versatile and worked for pretty much everything. As the 70s came around, air suspension pivoted and moved from strictly function to like a looky-looky thing. Low riders would start playing around with it and the air strut systems in comparison to the normal hydro setups. Because of the 70s low riders and the 90s mini truck scene, they single-handedly were probably one of the most influential reasons that air suspension is as popular as it is today. Just saying. Next time you see a slammed S10 owner, just give the man a hug. Air suspension would take a sideline due to its cost for a while until the market eventually began to expand past the one to two companies that offered kits in the past. AccuAir, D2, UAS, and Airlift would begin competing in all the same space as the only Highlander, and they're still doing it to this day. So you want to bag your car, put the old groceries in the struts. All right, so let's but let's just, we'll get into it, okay? Bagging your car in the simplest of forms is probably one of the most beautiful things you can do to your car without having to do anything else. And I'm not even joking. Seriously, stock cars on air, even with a massively tucked setup, inherently probably the second most beautiful thing in the world. And it looks so much better. Like, look at a Ferrari slammed on the ground. Look at a bus on the ground, a van on the ground. That paired, you know, you get some wheels and tires paired with your air suspension, dial in your fitment, you're ready to rock and roll, son. You're ready for all the car shows. 
and you can dial in your fitment a lot easier. Air suspension at the start is quite a convoluted thing to get into, though it's not necessarily the simplest, it's not a lowering spring, and here's why. Air suspension has multiple components that make the whole thing run as intended. You have your air struts, you have your lines, management system, ECU, which is the brain, wiring harness, height sensors, if you get that kind of kit, and a few other goodies, like, I don't know, a tank. All of these parts work interchangeably to allow your car to go up and to go down. If you don't care about routing things nicely or cleanly, then air suspension is super easy. However, we don't want your car to look like a burnt toaster oven that just exploded, and that's what happens when you don't tuck your wires. To start it off at the top, it's important to know what your setup is going to be like in terms of an overall setup look. Are you gonna be running your tank in the back, the front, maybe the behind the front seats? From there, you wanna get a mock-up of what your wiring is gonna run throughout your car, where are the lines going to go, all of that sort of good stuff. Because if you don't think about that, it's gonna be a hot mess. But don't be nervous, because if you do it the right way the first time, it'll run like a dream. Once you figure out where it's all going to run, it's time to disassemble your car to make it all run where you would like it to go without you actually seeing it. But here are just a few pro tips if you're looking for a couple from, huh. Don't force your airlines into tight spaces. They will pinch and inevitably your bags won't inflate as fast as it needs to and you'll have some weird kind of funky shit going on with your car as you try to be cool in the parking lot. Test that everything works before you completely reassemble your car. It's very important that you test things before you just tuck everything back together again. You'd be very surprised at some of the simple mistakes that you're gonna make the first time you do it. Don't forget to retorque your struts. And they're, they're foot pounds, no duggas. Don't do duggas. Alignment is crucial post installation. Otherwise you're not gonna enjoy it that much. You're gonna eat through tires. Air suspension too is a continuous maintenance thing, not a one time done sort of deal like lowering springs or coilovers because there's just more to them. Air suspension kits are now made for practically everything. The difficulty in finally pulling the trigger for people like you and people like me when it comes down to bagging your car is the same amount of options and companies that all offer somewhat of the same thing. Here's a power hour of information without getting you into the nitty gritty in case you're wondering what the differences are. Airlift Suspension was one of the first companies and coined a lot of the air suspension kits you see out there to this day. They have a multitude of kits. You have pressure-based systems that are gonna be based on how much pressure is in each airbag in each corner of your car. You have a height-based system as well. The height-based system, instead of looking at the pressure of air in your bag, looks at the actual height of your car to the ground. This is actually going to be a little bit different. A lot of time height sensors are more sophisticated, but as a result, you have a more dynamic ride quality. A lot of times with height sensors though, it can be a bit tricky and it's usually more expensive. They even introduced a 3S kit, which is their entry level air suspension kit, which instead of using a normal controller, you can actually just use your phone because you're a trendy kid, right? You got the iPhone X, S, Max. You can put that baby right in the center console. You don't even have to worry about a controller. It's nifty, that's what it is. AccuAir, on the other hand, specializes predominantly in air management solutions versus just full kits, even though they do have kits available. AccuAir has some pretty incredible stuff too in their pocket, but their biggest differences are between their normal companies is that they've always been about the height sensor game and they don't actually even believe in the pressure talk since pressure doesn't actually have anything to do with overall ride height. They also have a fancy as endo CVT system. The CVT, which stands for compressor, valve, tank, is an all-in-one system that massively cleans up the overall air suspension kit that would be in your trunk. It's a little bit more pricey, all right? But it's a bit more cool. And actually, when you consider it versus the independent parts that you'd buy, it's actually just as affordable, if not cheaper. AccuAir partners with other companies to offer struts, but doing full kits just isn't their overall thing just yet. When we went to visit AccuAir, we saw just how gnarly the tech is that AccuAir uses, and it's pretty much the bee's knees. And they're one of the ones that a lot of people think of when you look at the highest end that you can get for air management solutions. You have other companies like UAS or Universal Air Suspension or D2, that are also involved in the air suspension game that provides suspension kits for all those off meta style air suspension kits. If you got something that's not common, you probably find yourself looking at a UAS or a D2 kit, I promise. So you want to bag your car. Well, I have two to four questions for you. One, do you have potentially three to $4,000? That's a toughie. Are you willing to take a few risks and work with dare I say electrical? Are you ready to really be that cool? 
If you answered yes, then bagging your car is probably for you. It is a little pricey, it is a little funky, but it's honestly one of the most popular things that people are doing right now to their car if they're looking for something that spruces up how it looks. It actually has some functionality. It allows you to drive your car instead of being slammed on the ground and crying when your oil pan freezes off or falls off. Maybe not freezes. I don't know, winter's coming, it's on my mind, and I'm sorry. The electrical can be scary, but companies like Acura and Airlift Performance have made it insanely simple to do with color manual instructions and massive print-off forms that make it about as stupid proof as you could possibly get. Air suspension allows people the same versatility that coilovers do with function and all that sort of good stuff. You can pretty much do just about everything, you know? But it does also offer some stuff that coilovers don't, such as dynamic drive height, slam stance when you want it. You know, allows people to more easily dial in their fitment. It can be a bit pricey, but it's, you know, you pan to play. You just, you, that's just kind of how it goes with, with air suspension systems, at least for right now. And if you do it right the first time, even if it is a little bit scary and you follow the instructions, you will be golden, Skipper, I promise. So what do you think about air suspension? Drop a comment below and let us know your thoughts. And if you're looking for air suspension or not, be sure to check out fitmentindustries.com because we have Airlift and Accuware. Yeah, all that sort of good stuff. I'm Alex from Fitment Industries. Let us know also in the comment section, of course, what you'd like us to talk about next. Otherwise, I'm gonna run out of things to talk about. We will see you guys later. Peace.